Tsune Miku needs no introduction. You know her, you love her, the world is hers. A lot of artists are inspired by her, myself included of course, and I don't know if you know this, but last year Hatsune Miku worked with Pokemon to create Project Voltage, an art and music collaboration that... I mean, look at them, look at them, look at all these Miku designs, they're so good! I remember waiting impatiently every day for the next Miku design to drop. It's been a year and I'm still obsessed, and I'm not the only one. I was having a bit of an art block, and I was looking at art to inspire me to do some character designs, and I saw some Project Voltage art again and immediately thought, I wanna do something like this. But worse. Anyway, you read the title. I'm fusing Hatsune Miku with Tumblr Sexy Men. There are two possibilities. Number one, you're familiar with the term Tumblr Sexy Men, and you couldn't help clicking on this video to watch the horrors I am about to release upon the earth. Number two, you saw the title and got confused, and you wanna get some clarity. Finn, none of those words are in the Bible. Anyways, if you want an in-depth explanation of what a Tumblr sexy man is, I would highly recommend that you check this video by its youths. They explain it better than I could ever do. But to make it short, Tumblr sexy men are characters that a large community of Tumblr users finds hot. To the point that even without being a part of their respected fandoms, you must have been bombarded by smart fan art of them. And you might be saying to yourself, Finn, you're drawing the triangle from Gravity Falls. Yeah, I know, I never said the Tumblr community was sane. This is why a specific term was created in the first place. There's a difference between a mainstream attractive character and a Tumblr sexy man. But yes, I'm drawing Miku Bill Cipher. I grew up with Gravity Falls, and on top of that, the book of Bill Cipher was recently released, and there we learned that Ford and Bill are toxic exes? Wait a minute, he fucked the triangle? So I kinda went back to the fandom. And I really wanted to draw the evil Dorito. I was not sure how much Miku I wanted to keep in these designs. I was trying to balance making it look not so different that you couldn't recognize her as Miku, but I also didn't want it to just look like Miku with the clothes of the characters and no major changes. I was looking at the Project Voltage artworks again, and they seem to have made some pretty big changes to their Mikus. Like, if you weren't told this is Hatsune Miku, you'd probably be, who is this woman? But I kinda like to have the freedom to make her look so different, exploring different fashions and personalities. Therefore, I decided that as long as she had her iconic pigtails, her vocaloid number on some part of her design, and that, you know, it kinda resembles her. That was gonna be a okay for me. So obviously, with Bill Cipher, I had to make her dapper. I kinda wanted to combine some two dimensional elements in her design with areas with more volume and shading. I think it's self explanatory why I used so many triangles for her clothes and even for her hairstyle. I generally don't feel comfortable working without post references, so I don't know if the spirit of Hatsune Miku possessed me or something, but. I drew all these artworks without any post references. I've never held so much power in my hands. Thank you, Hatsune Miku. But anyway, I wanted her to convey a fun loving and whimsical personality, but with a sinister feeling to it. I just think this bad is silly. She couldn't do anything wrong ever. It couldn't be a Tumblr sexy man video without including arguably the prime example of what a Tumblr sexy man represents. Seriously, back in the day you couldn't scroll for more than 20 seconds without getting jumpscared by not safe for work art of his genitalia. But he's a skeleton, how can he? You don't wanna know! Anyways, most Tumblr sexy men are twins in a suit, so the fact that Sans is just a fat skeleton in a hoodie and slippers and that he is the most popular sexy man makes me extremely happy. Sorry liberals, this is what the pig male body looks like. And if you are by any case doubting his power and influence amongst the sexy men, you obviously weren't there during the Tumblr sexy men polls of 2022. The poll that killed the Queen of England. I don't think anyone who was on the internet at that time can forget what they were doing while the results were coming. I remember I was following the poll since the beginning and when it went viral during the final rounds, people just started posting fan arts of sense killing the Queen of England. Truly one of the most magical days on the internet. I'm proud to admit that I was one of the people who voted for Sans. Anyways, if you're curious about this event, I recommend that you check these two videos. This one from Callie Does Things, where she documents the entire showdown, and this artist collab hosted by Robert Ross that is just a work of art. It's not a secret that for these designs, I got heavily inspired by Pokemon. 
not only because of the aforementioned project Voltage, but also in their design choices. Specifically, I was inspired by Jim Lee the Rhyme, who has, in my opinion, one of the best character designs in the entire franchise. Like, come on! Her dread looks resemble a skeleton! I knew we had to do something similar, so after some sketches, I found a way to translate the concept to Minku's hair texture and her pigtails. And I'm so happy with how they look. Man, Rhyme is so underrated. I've seen many comments saying stuff like, Rhyme's design is cool, I'd like her more if she was younger. What do you mean by that? Pokemon gives us spooky rapper grandma and you don't think that's the coolest thing ever? You're weak, pathetic, and won't survive the winter. But this is not a Pokemon video, so I digress. I had a lot of fun designing a huge oversized hoodie for Miku. Sans design is very simple, so I was trying to balance the simple look with some additional details, so it doesn't look out of place with the other designs. And look at her, she's so chill. Just make sure you don't upset her or you're gonna have a bad time. The last character for this video is Alastor, the radio demon from Hespin Hotel. Now, apart from all their meme statues, I genuinely love both Bill Cipher and Sans Sander Tilla's characters. They're actual characters, not the fandom version of them. Well, with Alistair I can't say the same thing. I don't consider myself a has -been hotel hater. There are multiple things I enjoy about the show. Alistair is not one of them. Don't get me wrong, his personality is charming at all, but his design is not my thing. I really can't take Alistair seriously. Am I supposed to believe he's a 100-year-old powerful demon when he looks like that? Said Gon goes hard, though. Well, anyways, after drawing Hatsune Miku, I get it now. I still don't like the original, but Miku can't do anything wrong in my eyes, and she makes it work. So I get you now, Alastair and you're yours. So months ago, on Instagram and TikTok, I did some casting redesigns for fancies that got a bit of traction. I was thinking I could maybe do a YouTube video with my version of Haspin Hotel, but oh god, everyone has done that. I don't know, when I do redesigns, I do them from a place of respect and mainly wanted to have fun and explore different possibilities for the characters. If there's such a big trend in redesigning characters from a show that even people who haven't watched it or have no real opinions about it want to pop in for views, there's something that doesn't sit right with me. Don't get me wrong, I have a lot of problems with Haspin Hotel, and if you want to redesign the characters for fun, go ahead. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, and if it inspires you, that's amazing! But I'd heavily encourage you to find stuff that you genuinely feel passionate about because it soaks in your art. For hair design, I wanted to reflect the fact that Alastor was from the 1930s by looking at female fashion from the era. Obviously, I took my liberties, but I tried to reflect the silhouette of that time. I also gave her these hoof heels, and I'm very proud of them, related to that. I also gave her a little deer tail because of Alastor antlers and I think those are ears? The main reason for adding the tail is because it's cute and I wanted to. The same thing goes for her handlers. Why does she have those if she is a girl? Well, she's a demon, so I wanted to give her some horn-like elements and they, they look cool. I don't know, sometimes you just gotta self-indulge and make design choices because you want to. When I was sewing the sketches in my Patreon Discord server, I got messages from my supporters telling me how happy they were that I kept Alastor's ugly hairstyle. And I agree, that hairstyle do be ugly. But I somehow think that Miku can pull it off? Maybe I'm extremely biased, but Miku does everything right. And here are the three Miku designs side by side. Which one is your favorite? Who is your favorite sexy man? Are you worried about my mental state after this video? Let me know in the comments! There are many! MANY other sexy men that I'd like to do. You'd probably notice that I didn't do the OG, the father of all sexy men. That was intentional. I didn't want to do all the popular ones in part 1, so if you'd like another video with more designs like this, let me know, because I love to do it. Okay, but you know who's better than Tumblr sexy men? My patrons! The biggest thank you to... Blanca Lee Jones, Sprocket Rocket, D, RTT, Austin Graff, Jing Studios, Soapy Soap Sir, Anymore, Pedal Book Interactive, Net Tip Art, and Mr. Wilkinson79. And that's all, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye bye!